Today we're going to discuss crying in front of strangers, crying on cue, crying on camera, crying on stage. This crime at the individual or micro level. If one woman doesn't walk at night, that one woman won't be attacked. But sometimes in the script it says this character starts crying and it needs to happen in front of a camera crew at a specific time on a specific day. Number one biggest tip when it comes to crying during acting is to not force it. But the problem with giving this... Forced tears will look worse than not crying at all. The problem with giving this advice is that it keeps that one woman safe at the expense of all women's right to move freely. If you're working on camera and it is in the script that you must cry on a certain line, try using a tear stick. We need our leaders to think and speak at the macro level. And the best way to prevent this crime and keep all women safe isn't by changing the behaviour of women, but by changing the behaviour of men. There are a lot of different variations of this, but basically it's a chemical or a balm that can either be applied to the face, near the face, it can be kind of blown at you out of the frame of the camera. This might upset some people, but honestly, parents, instead of telling our girls not to walk through parks... And the chemicals in it will react with your eyes and you'll start tearing up. Another similar trick is to use Visine to kind of help your eyes get there. Get Maybe we should be telling our boys not to rape them. Margaret Atwood, the author who wrote the dystopian feminist novel The Handmaid's Tale more than 30 years ago, captured the imbalance we're talking about here. ...into the headspace of that character with that specific emotion in mind. When she remarked, men are afraid that women will laugh at them. Listen to what the character is saying and know the specifics of the circumstance you're playing. Women are afraid that men will kill them. Music can be a very, very powerful emotional trigger for people. Listening to music that puts you in that mood can definitely help you out. physical response of real water coming out of your eyes might be problematic. It can ruin your makeup. If you're wearing false lashes, it can detach the glue.